Matt Stepp with Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at Toyota Stadium in Frisco. Here with the head coach of the Dennis and Yellow Jackets, Coach Chad Rogers, after a 59-14 uh, to 14 win over Frisco Memorial. Uh, congrats on the win. First off, Coach, I know it was a big one. You guys needed it, right? We did. We did. Kids came out, played well, you know, and got after in the beginning and, uh, you know, executed the game plan and did what they were supposed to do. Now, obviously, in a, in a game that gets a little lopsided like this, the, the biggest thing you want to do is you want to get a lot of kids' action. You want to come out of this thing injury-free. Was, was that did, did, Were those goals met once you, once the game got where you guys knew you were going to come out with the win? Yeah, exactly. This is the way it was, and we got a lot of kids playing time. And, you know, the, the great part about that is seeing the sidelines because the roles flip. You know, the starters become the cheer, you know, and, and the encouragers. So it just flipped, and it went really, really well for that. And, you know, I'm proud of the way they played and proud of the way we executed the game plan. You came out, and obviously your person, your team's personality is to run the football. You know, that's no secret. You know, you guys like to run the ball. You came out and, and threw the ball a little bit and worked on the passing game a little bit. How important is it going to be uh, uh, later on as you get towards a playoff run and hopefully into the playoffs that you guys are able to throw the ball effectively and keep defenses honest? Well, you know, anytime it's a play-action passing game, and we got we got some talented receivers to get the ball to, and you saw that. So, you know, we just got to take we, – we, we try to do what the defense gives us, and we try to go fast as we possibly can. And, you know, and, and the kids understand our game plan and you know and, and our offensive line does a great job uh defensively you guys i look like you know that, that's a young team over there look at like the game plan defensively was to throw a few different looks kind of come out come at the quarterback with some different angles do you feel like you guys executed your defensive game plan okay yeah definitely you know definitely you know we did and we also we got several things going on we got new people in and um you know we, we got mixed up some coverages had some had a bunch of kids get to play you know so um you know, and they're a young team. They're very athletic, and coach, coach has done a great job at, at you know, the stops before. We know he's, the staff's doing a good job. They're just young. They're athletic, and, you know, you know they're going to be a, a team to reckon with in the future for sure. All right, now, Thursday night game, obviously it makes for a short week, but it's obviously a better day at school on Friday when you come out with a win. What's the game plan? How does it change a little bit as far as you're going to send coaches out to scout tomorrow and then get the kids in for treatment and then give them Saturday off, or do you come in Saturday? How do you flip the schedule a little bit with the early Thursday game? Yeah, we don't take any days off, um, you know, so long we're in the season. So what we'll do is Friday we'll go in, we'll lift weights, we'll watch our game from today, put it to bed, enjoy it. Um, and Saturday we'll get up and work on our opponent and, um, and get ready for that. Get a little longer for treatment. You know, you don't lift on Saturday. But, uh, you know, we got a Thursday game schedule that we've been doing since, you know, that I like, that I've been doing for a long time. And kind of, it keeps them in their schedule. If you, if you give them Saturday off, they're going to say, hey, I like this Saturday off, and they may not come back the next Saturday. So, you know, we try to keep our routines the same. I'm a routine person. And I guess, the, like you said, the extra day for treatment always heals bumps and bruises, especially late in the season, right? There's a few extra bumps and bruises. Every day helps, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, and, and you get some. We we um, had some kids banged up a little bit, and we were able to rest them and not play them in this game. So that helped out. Coach, appreciate the win and enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you down there and hopefully come playoff time. Sounds good. Thank you, Matt. Great.